What's going on everybody? Today on CountryCast, we are going to talk about the one who got away from Blake Shelton, the one who slipped through the cracks, the one who didn't really necessarily get a fair shake when they were right in front of Blake Shelton. And that is fellow country artist Morgan Wallen. Some of you may be asking, well, how did Morgan Wallen slip through the cracks or get away from Blake Shelton? If you remember, Morgan Wallen was a contestant on The Voice back in 2014 for season six, where he joined Team Usher and Team Adam Levine throughout the competition and then ultimately in the end Morgan Wallen uh, was eliminated during the playoff rounds of that competition and Blake Shelton was recently asked about some other contestants that have had a similar path to Morgan Wallen where they didn't necessarily get as far as maybe they should have because of their talents and during that conversation Blake Shelton talked about Morgan Wallen and how if he was on Blake's team things may have been a little bit different for Morgan and Blake could have actually taken some credit with uh, helping him out throughout the competition and maybe given a little bit of influence uh, to Wallen's career. According to a report by Nash Country Daily, he said, everybody has their own different kind of journey and things. I think the one that I look back on now and go, what the hell is Morgan Wallen, you know? He was on the show. He wasn't even on my team. He was on Adam's team. The whole thing just seemed screwed up, you know? It's like he was on the show and he didn't even get through the battle rounds. And now here he is having these gigantic, huge number one hits. And I can't take any of the credit. It's like I had him right there and he got away. You know, it's kind of interesting and a little funny to talk about this and actually get to hear what Blake Shelton had to say about you know, contestants who are on The Voice and, you know, the ones slipping through the cracks or not necessarily getting the fair shake or recognition that they deserved while being on that show uh, due to their amazing musical talent, especially, you know, when you talk about Morgan Wallen, who has blown up and has taken the country music world by storm and is growing very rapidly. And, uh, you know, he's out here with Hardy. Hardy is growing rapidly as well with them two together. They just mesh really well. Um, Hardy even doing the mixtape thing with a bunch of different country artists all throughout that record but Morgan Wallen I mean you look at up down went number one whiskey glasses went number one number 14 right now on the charts is chasing you and as if I know me album it was good all the way through and you know, say what you want about the cover, uh, but ultimately in the end, Morgan Wallen's cover of Jason Isbell's song, Cover Me Up, is, it's a really beautiful song, and I think he did a wonderful job on that. And so yeah, looking at where he is right now in his career, I bet Blake is a little upset that he didn't jump on the opportunity, uh, you know, to kind of help form his career or put a little influence behind it, but Morgan's done well for himself. Hell, he was even recently opening up for one of the biggest acts in country music right now out on tour with Luke Combs. And, you know, this is kind of a relevant conversation uh, with Morgan when we bring up Luke Combs because he had a similar circumstance with The Voice where he auditioned but did not make it to the show because the producers thought that he wasn't interesting enough uh, to be on the show and for the ratings, which I bet they're probably uh, shaking their heads at that. And he's definitely getting a good laugh himself at these producers who said he wasn't interesting enough because now he is one of the biggest acts in country music. Getting off topic a little bit there, but getting back to Morgan Wallen, he he is massive. The guy has over 8 million listeners a month on Spotify. So Morgan definitely took it upon himself to make a career out of country music, and he's doing very well, and I could definitely believe that Blake Shelton is shaking his head for not jumping on the opportunity to really help uh, influence and shape a guy's career that has turned into something that is reaching the masses in country music. But let us know your thoughts down below in the comments, especially about these singing competitions that we see on TV over and over again. And uh, let us know if you think there's a pattern there where they just you know, constantly overlook uh, artists that really have the talent and should be given a fair shake to go out and cut a record and maybe even get a tour. So let us know your thoughts down below. That will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.